we are currently here at Just Catamarans and um, while Pedro is making the video and posting them there's a lot of comments about our dirty bottom not ours, Sisu's dirty bottom and it's actually a very long story but in short we already discovered or wanted to clean the bottom in BVI and um, then we looked, we saw the video of Dallas. Bottom time, tools of the trade. Number one, scraper for the prop. Number two, automated cleaning machine, which will save me like hours of work. Boom. And Brian inspired me to look for cleaning tools. And then I come across a cavet cleaner. And this cavet cleaner, was a problem to get into BVI and because we want to leave BVI very soon we decided right we will send it to Bahamas so then we need to wait till we get to Bahamas and then we got COVID we had to wait till we are clean of COVID before we can leave BVI and then when we arrived in Bahamas the agent that was supposed to clear it he was not on top of things and we had to <laughs> We had basically had to go ourselves to the customs and and clear out our the, the stuff, which is sent by DHL, by the way. But we had to go and clear it ourselves with temporary permits and yacht in transits and all sorts of things. So when we finally got the machine, it was pretty cool. So this is what happened. It's washing day here on Sisu. As you can see, lots of washing is hanging around. So it's time for me to wash <laughs> Sisu, but this time it's going to be the hull. And I've got a big setup. I'm going to replace this with this. So the problem of these ones are this plastic one works but it doesn't get all the barnacles off so the nice thing about this plastic one is it doesn't take so much anti-foul off so we have a metal one to take off the barnacles but the barnacles if we then remove the barnacles with this one then all the anti-foul is coming off as well so very cheap solution very hard work very intensive I'm going to see if this is working, but it's not just this. This is a cavet cleaner and it has an on off switch, then a lot of valves and pipes and things like that. Basically, it has a pump here. So a pump that feeds into a very, very big compressor over there, which this is the compressor here. And then it pushes out into the blue line, which is here. And it comes into this gun. So, replacing one little metal scraper with, with a gun. Very expensive gun. So let's see if this is going to work. So also that to help me is this dive cylinder is here. So I've got it connected to a long high pressure pipe. And so I'm only going to have this then. Oh, let's open it. Don't forget to open it. This was a lot of growth. We never had this lot of growth on, on, on Susu's hour. And it is actually very bad form to have this much of growth on, a, on, on the bottom of your boat. So we had to clean it. And for the first time, I could actually reach inside and clean inside too. Check out all, all the gunk that came out of there. And this was so easy. Normally with the scraper it takes hours.
So just how does this work? It works on the same principle as this pistol shrimp, which closes a claw at a speed of 120 kilometers an hour, creating a jet stream, which then caused this little cavitation bubble. Inside this bubble, uh, temperature is reached about 4,000 degrees. And when it collapses, it's almost like a sonic weapon. And this is what the cavet cleaner machine is using the same principle. It cleans the through house even inside and very thoroughly. I was amazed. Just check how easy it was to clean the speed lock. And after this, our sonar was so good, it, it actually shows little uh, the sand dunes created by the waves in the sand. I can actually see where I was anchoring, which type of bottom I was anchoring in. It was amazing. really amazed by the results of this cavit cleaner and if you want to have if you want to buy one I will post the link below and use Sisu to get some discount thank you for watching guys